So another experiment we were gonna do uses two other normal household ingredients, one being vinegar and the other being ordinary baking soda. So we have filled in this balloon. little glass in a balloon. We have filled this little glass jar with about a cup of, of the vinegar. And Sydney is going to put about a third of a cup or maybe six or so spoonfuls, teaspoons of baking soda into the balloon. Two. Now this is gonna show the chemical reaction of something very acidic. Three. Um, which would be the vinegar and something very basic, which would be the baking soda. So an acid-base reaction. That's fine. Okay. That's heavy. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Just pull that. Yeah, squeeze the bottom. There you go. And then we're going to wrap that around there. <laughs> okay. Let's put this here for a sec. And let's, so I'm going to take the, I'm going to do this. We're going to stretch top of the balloon over, securely over the bottom. Um, and I'll just hang over like that. And when you're ready, safety glasses on, you can do it. I will hold this. We will see. What happens when you pour the baking soda in? Can I dump it? So that acid-base reaction produces carbon dioxide, which fills the balloon in a hurry.